Hey guys, Taylor here in Guangzhou again, back with another video. Uh, lovely Tuesday morning here in Guangzhou. It's about 10:30 uh, in the morning, and I'm here with my wife and daughter here. Yeah, and uh, we're just about to go for some breakfast, actually. And we're gonna go for a very, very, very famous for variation of Chinese food, and you probably have heard of it. It's called dim sum. And I really enjoy dim sum. I've, I've been to many dim sum restaurants and it's a very nice uh, meal to have for breakfast or brunch or uh, early afternoon. And that's typically when it's eaten. It's usually eaten in the morning or early afternoon. And uh, for those of you that don't know, dim sum is actually originally a Cantonese custom uh, originating in this area of China. But uh, it's become very popular all over the country over the centuries. And uh, it's been linked to uh, the Chinese custom of uh, Yam cha, which is uh, to drink tea, and uh, that's where it originated at these uh, small tea houses. Uh, you know, these tea houses would they would host uh, workers and farmers that'd be exhausted from a full day's work, and the tea the tea house would actually serve uh, like small hors d'oeuvre style foods, and that's how it originated. Dim sum, actually, and uh, typically that's what it is. It's usually steamed or fried uh, small dishes, uh, like hors d'oeuvre style. And uh, today we're gonna go check out a dim sum restaurant that I actually haven't been to this one. It's fairly close to my place and uh, we're gonna see what they have there. So we're at a dim sum restaurant and uh, Kaza just took Buffy to play some games so I'm just sitting here. I asked for the menu and uh, they gave me a menu but it was entirely in Chinese. I couldn't even read a word of it. But surprisingly, they also have an English menu. And it's actually very rare actually. A lot of Chinese restaurants you go to, they don't have an English menu so it's, it's hard. Unless they have pictures, it's hard to, uh, to see what you want if you can't read Chinese. Uh, so I actually have an English menu here. I'm very surprised. And I'm going to take a look, see what they got. And we're going to get a couple uh, traditional dim sum uh, dishes here. So we just ordered our food. And uh, first they give you a nice little pot of tea here. And uh, this is called the Kung Fu Tea. And it looks like this here. Nice and refreshing. And we already ordered our food. We're just waiting for it to come. And uh, I'm excited because I'm pretty hungry right now. is very nice, very refreshing. So my wife just told me the name of this restaurant is actually called Tian Douzhe, and uh, it's actually a very popular uh, restaurant chain here in Guangzhou. They have a, several of them, and they've been around since 1933. It says here, Guangzhou Time Honored Brand. So we know that it's a good restaurant, but of course there's hundreds of hundreds of dim sum restaurants here in Guangzhou, so many to choose from. We just came to this one just because it happens to be very close to our place. But there are other ones. There are ones that are much more expensive and there are other ones that are actually more cheaper than this one. This is kind of like a you know, like mid-level <laughs> dim sum restaurant if you want to call it. Alright, so our dim sum has arrived and it looks absolutely delicious here. Here we have the Xiaolong Bao, this is the Shanghai style soup dumplings. And here we have, I uh, forget the name of it. What do you call this one? This one? Xia Jiao. Xia Jiao, it's like shrimp dumpling. And the chicken feet here, wonderful chicken feet. And uh, this is in a pork dish, uh, like a pork sparrow dish. A uh, little bit spicy, this one. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna dig into this right now. I'll let you know how it is. We still have a few more things coming, some rice for Buffy and maybe some uh, dessert coming as well. Okay, so we've got one more uh, dish here. Uh, my wife just said the name, but it's so long I, I can't even say it. Can you say it again for the camera? What's the name of this one? Fu Pi Ding Gu Jian. Okay, and she said the outside is like a tofu, and inside they have mushroom inside. So we've never tried something like this before. I'm pretty interested to try it. And you know, you can see dim sum, like we said before. It's like smaller hors d'oeuvre style food, like come in these steamed bamboo baskets, 
and uh, you know they're they're really good to pick at. Uh, you know, a really, really small stuff here. All right, so let's try the chicken feet. See here? This is a chicken foot. It's steamed. It's got some sauce on it. I'm going to give it a try right now. Mm. Very, very good. The skin is very tender. Uh, you just bite through it. It's not chewy like some other chicken feet. Uh, very, very hot right now. The taste to it, very, very savory. A little bit of a spicy uh, aftertaste as well, but very, very nice. Very enjoyable. You know, some people, they might be put off by the uh, from eating chicken feet because maybe, you know, you don't really find this too much in uh, Western countries. But yeah, let me tell you something. Chicken feet's actually considered a delicacy here in China. And it's very enjoyable to eat if it's cooked really uh, if it's cooked properly. Alright, let's go for the pork dish, the pork sparrows here. Very, very nice. A uh, little bit of a mix of su sweet and spicy. Uh, it's fairly good, fairly tasty. Mm. This is a dish here, and it's got, uh, it's, what's it called? Can you say the name? Okay, it's like a pork, right? On top of rice. It's like a ground pork uh, on top of rice. Some vegetables inside. Uh, Buffy's gonna eat this one. Uh, I'm gonna try a little bit too later. Uh, and you can see, it also comes in one of these bamboo baskets, like everything else. All right, next up, I'm gonna try the shrimp dumpling here. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of red wine vinegar I have down here. Very, very good. Very, very taste. The shrimp tastes very, very fresh. It goes really well with that red wine vinegar. And next up, we got the tofu wrapped mushrooms. I'm going to try this right now. I've never had this one. It's very nice. A little bit of a savory taste. Uh, you know, uh, very flavorful inside. Definitely, the mushrooms are really cooked well inside the tofu wrap. The tofu wrap it's very, very thin, very, very thin. So you're not getting a huge layer of tofu, but uh, it's very nice. I, I like this one. So next up, got the Xiaolongbao, the Shanghai style soup bundle. One of my favorite for, uh, for the Chinese food. And if you've seen my other video about these things, uh, you know you gotta be very careful when you eat them because there's a hot soup broth inside. And if you make one wrong move, you can put a hole in it, and then the soup broth is just all over the table. So I got one right here in my spoon. I'm gonna bite a whole drink the soup out and enjoy the dumpling. Let's see. Very good. The broth is very, very flavorful, very good, nice and hot. And I'm gonna go for the rest of the dumpling now. Here we go. Very nice, the pork is nice and tender, juicy, bursting with flavor, just fantastic. I love these uh, Shanghai style soup dumplings. One of my favorite things here in China. Amazing. And we got some nice hot tea to wash the dim sum down. As you can see, awesome food, very, very delicious. And they all come in these small bamboo baskets. Little things to pick at. And in our household, uh, with me and my wife, it's become uh, a very common thing for us to do. Just go for dim sum for a late breakfast. And uh, it's one of the many, many things that I love about living here in China is I can go to these uh, dim sum restaurants and uh, have a good breakfast, Chinese style. And and like I said about a lot of the other things here in China, the food is just so cheap. Like this 
lunch here is going to cost us about a little under 150 RMB, which is less than 30 Canadian dollars, which is not bad. You know, if you go to a dim sum restaurant in Canada, you're going to pay, you know, for this, maybe double the price, double the price. It's just so much cheaper here in China, so much better here in China and more authentic. And uh, I, I absolutely love coming to for a dim sum for a breakfast. All right, so we just finished up at the dim sum restaurant and we're about to head out now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And, you know, like I said before, you know, you can't really narrow Chinese food down into one thing. There's so many different variations, of course. This was just one of them. And this was uh, dim sum. And it's a can well, Cantonese dim sum, I should say. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it, uh, give it a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on life in China. Until next time, this is Taylor in Guangzhou. Have a great day.